All right, YouTubers, so this is my other Dell Inspiron 3670. You can see minimal upgrades in this one. Just has a uh, M.2 NVM NVMe solid state drive in it and no other upgrades. Has the original CPU, I think only 8 gigs of RAM, and uh, has never had a graphics card in it. So, in the other videos I have, you've seen all kinds of upgrades, and we've talked about a lot of different graphics cards. Another alternative for this is the GTX 750 right here. So, uh, these are obviously, what, uh, three generations ago, four generations ago, we're in 20, 2,000, 1,900s, and then 750, so... Um, this is still not too bad of a graphics card for uh, some purposes. Now, what do we have here? We've got Intel's UHD 630 integrated graphics. Best score I think I've ever gotten out of this is an 18 and using the CPU user benchmark, which makes your Fortnite playing kind of uh, crappy. Now, this graphics card, uh, I think, lined up with a Intel i5-9600K, I've gotten, uh, I think, almost 30%, which uh, allowed for, at that point, you know, actually halfway decent Fortnite gameplay, right? So this card with a not as powerful i5-8400, we should be somewhere between 26-28%. Now, what does that mean? Um, you're going to be able to game 1080p, probably, I'm thinking me medium settings. Uh, versus low or you know maybe you're stuck in 720p but uh, this should you know be a slight increase now for 30 bucks hey that's one of the best upgrades you can get um, you could go try and buy a 1050 Ti and uh, I think brand new those are still costing 150 bucks or so you can get them on eBay for around 100 you can get a 1050 for a little less than that and then there's the RX 460 OEM version that we previously put in, which is the, the type that does not have the uh, GPU power connectors, just like this one. So, uh, And we also had an RX 550 or 560 Bravo that we put in uh, one of the computers. So overall, this, uh, this should be decent. Now, I'm going to keep this uh, the way it looks. Um, by not removing the little aluminum doodads. And we're going to use a PCI Express ribbon cable for the installation. So this thing uh, works real easy. And now this isn't the best way to do this, the way I'm going to demonstrate this, but um, I'm going to pop this in here. So that guy's in there, and then we will go in and put it in. Of course, we got to put it the other way. Drop this into our PCI Express slot, and boom, we're in there. Now, that's just going to precariously rest on top there. Not the brightest thing in the world, but if you watch this channel, you know I don't always do the brightest things. So, this uh, is you know pretty low power uh, graphics card, and uh, we'll be all right with our 290 water here. Now, if you had a lot of peripherals, if you watched some of my other videos where I added up to uh, three or four hard drives to this thing, or solid state drives, and if you uh, you know had a K uh, processor in here and some other things, then you might start to get yourself in trouble. Uh, plus, if you had all your USBs uh, connected with some kind of peripheral device. Those are, you know, the, the cases where you might start to worry about your power consumption. Uh, if you don't have that much stuff connected, like I've got the bare minimum here, we're going to be all right. All right, so let's go ahead and fire this up. And um, I'm going to probably have went and got the driver, so I'll spare you guys that. And then we will uh, we'll see how it goes from there. Maybe if I have Fortnite already installed on here, we'll, uh, we'll show some frames for a second. All right, so we've got the GTX 750 installed in our Dell Inspiron 3670. Ran the user benchmark, and here are the results. Of 
across the top gaming 24% desktop 99 workstation 64 so somewhat of an increase not like spectacular increases this uh, computer is you know decent for desktop work even workstation you can do some decent stuff with it however it's really weak in the aspect of gaming so with just the Intel UHD 630 integrated graphics we would have got a score right around 18 percent this improvement is not going to make too much of a difference frame rates could increase you know five to ten frames per second not really positive of what that exact number is you may find yourself able to play at a slightly higher quality or you might be able to turn some things on uh, that you weren't able to before however it's not really uh, gonna get you uh, happier I would say now things that I could have done to improve this would have been had I have used a, uh, a better uh, CPU um, it would have went up ever so slightly with an i7-8700 or a um, i5-8600 faster solid state drive had I used my EVO 970 plus or if I had a pro we might have gotten a slightly better gaming score but in the end you need a better graphics card than the 750 so I'm not going to recommend the 750 now what are the options that one could look at let's go ahead and look at uh, the other stuff so I went ahead and got them in order alright so here we're showing the UHD graphics 630 to the right is probably the lowest um, maybe not the lowest graphics card that will work but uh, it's darn near the lowest GT 1030 see with the rankings um, some of the uh, what the user bench what the frames per second would be now here is uh, gaming and I can't you know vouch for this all being that accurate because this is uh, I believe user inputted but uh, Fortnite is uh, you know all it's it's playable I'd say on the, uh, the UHD graphics um, I would prefer to see something higher than 60 so I wouldn't actually enjoy it but uh, you know according to those numbers it's over 30 you could uh, you can play it with the GT 1030 not very good League of Legends is better uh, with the GT 1030 so uh, these really you know aren't good options moving on Here's the GTX 750 that we talked about and comparing it to an RX 550. Now this assumes that you can find an RX 550 out there that doesn't have a six pin connector. Um, looking for an OEM version of it. Uh, when I mean OEM, something like this card here. You see no six or eight pin connector on it. This gets all of its power from the PCI Express connector. So these are what we're looking for. If you can find a version of that, and usually they come with, I uh, will say HP and Dell and some of the other uh, companies put those in there and uh, they're very low TDP. So getting back to this, RX 460, RX 560B, both of these I have on this channel at one time or another had an OEM version and uh, you know they were they were decent I don't believe that I uh, I may not have put them into any of my Dells um, but number wise you know they, they weren't too bad so for a reason they don't show a lot of games here but this just gives you kind of an idea uh, these games at least are highly playable all right, so I'm not really sure that the RX 560 OEM exists. There are people that have labeled it. Um, I bought one, and then it turned out it was a 560B. But if it is out there, then uh, I did include it in case you're able to get one. 
GTX 950. Um, not a hundred percent positive there is an OEM version out there of it, but uh, it there well there's an OEM version. I'm not sure if it requires a six pin connector, so I've just included it for uh, a couple reasons. One, eventually we're going to look at a power supply solution where you could actually use this. All right, so getting down to the gaming. You know, Fortnite, just a little better. Nothing super spectacular. The other games are um, getting better. You can almost play Grand Theft Auto and enjoy it. All right, next group. So these guys definitely have um, not only the OEM versions, but uh, store-bought, like Zotac has a GTX 1050 Ti that we had in... Uh, this is probably honestly your best option even though it's getting up there uh, price wise so you see now um, Fortnite is definitely playable with this thing and uh, Battlefield 1 is almost starting to get playable and some of the other games uh, definitely better so another option that could get you um, into the next level which would be the GTX 960 or GTX 1060 um, let me see here yeah those that one actually scores better so these are uh, there's versions of these out once again OEM versions um, but they have a six pin connector um, whoops And there may be one that exists without the uh, six pin, but I'm pretty sure you have to have a six pin. So if you get something like this, then you're you're really starting to get into some decent gaming, right? Um, Fortnite will be really good. Pretty much uh, with the 1060, you can play Grand Theft Auto. You can play Battlefield 1. It's right on the verge of that one being pretty good. Um, if it would get over 60 so how do you get there I had uh, I've never bought this thing but looking at the Dell community site this guy here uh, has suggested or one of these guys suggested a uh, power supply this 365 watt one so I looked it up on eBay a um, bunch of different prices I think the cheapest you can get is uh, $40 this is uh, 44 plus coming from Hong Kong, but you see what this has. Not only does it have the uh, eight, so this has the eight pin to the motherboard, okay, power to the motherboard, and then four pin for your CPU. But then over here you've got your six plus two, so really only really need six uh, for GPU, so that you can have a decent graphics card. Now this is probably, um, you know, there's probably some other graphics cards you could use with this, but uh, you know, staying away from the the really good ones. Um, this would work though for you know the cards that I previously showed you. Now, I could not find any information on the TDP of the 960, so I'm a little you know concern recommending that one now I know the um, 1060 OEM is uh, pretty uh, pretty low and it should work pretty good so if you get uh, if you want to get to this level at least that'll set you back uh, the forty dollars or so whoops forty dollars or so for the PSU and then looking up these OEMs, if I can find a Dell, let's see, I think it's HP, sorry. Okay, so sometimes you can find these for 100 bucks. This guy's 120. Can't really see this back corner, but there's probably a six pin connector. And, uh, 
So for about $160, you can make your um, Dell Inspiron actually a decent gaming computer. All right. Thanks for checking out the video. Hope you got something out of it.